Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, we've got some summoning events, would you believe, going all week long. The only reason I'm covering this in a video, honestly, because it feels like summoning events are just becoming white noise right now, is because there's guaranteed champions. There's actually guaranteed epics, which some of you might be interested in. But I've got to say, Raid, a summoning event every single day is no longer an exciting thing. And you're probably going to get less engagement in doing one every day, every single day, every single day versus dropping them as kind of ad hoc events, which actually feels a bit exciting. Uh, anyway, let's just rock through this quickly. Uh, I guess let me know your thoughts down below. Do you prefer to see something up for grabs almost every day and kind of like pick the ones that you want to go for? Or would you rather they were a bit less uh, intensive, but perhaps a bit more fun? I don't know. Let's go through it then. So tomorrow, there's going to be a 10 times chance to get three big nukas. So for tomorrow, we're going to have, um, not in there. What is he? What is he? What is he? Ethos. Ethos is the Void Legendary tomorrow. He's kind of fallen massively out of the meta, honestly. I don't really see him played at like high elo arena, uh, but he's a great, He's, he's a great champion. He's not like one of the best anymore. I think people have just come out that have just surpassed him for damage. Uh, but he's very good at doing a strong campaign farm, even right the way through to Nightmare. And he is a good arena champion. Like he hits hard. He's got two AoE nukes. But yeah, just feels like he's just been surpassed by quite a few. Two of the ones I'm going to talk about probably used more often than this guy. Two of the non-voids. Candy, who I've recently got Plus four available. I'm just waiting for a soul um, to, to pop, but it never comes. But anyway, Candy is one of the best champions. He's actually super good for live arena, but one of the best champions at being able to take a hit and still win you a fight in the arena. Uh, so he's got one of the hardest A1s in the game if a target's under a buff. Literally can sit most people down with this A1. He's got a big AoE nuke on the A2. Self-buffing on the A3. And the reason why he can take a hit is whenever an enemy does turn me to fill or buffs, he gets his perfect veil. Perfect veil means he just straight up takes less damage, but also he gets an additional damage reduction and a damage boost whenever this goes on. Got attacking all battles for arena, attacking arena battle, sorry. So decent champ. Got another one in here, Hefrak, King of the Nukes. Um, again, like self buffing, which is very cool for live arena. So he's got a self buff here. Then he goes again. So straight away goes into his AoE hit. If he hits anyone for more than half their health, then he'll hit again. And basically this becomes one of the hardest hits in the game if he gets the double hit away. Plus he's got some ignore defense going on. Cool thing about this dude as well is if anyone on your team dies, he just goes straight in with that A2 and nukes. So very cool. A1 hits hard as well. So yeah, Hefrak is decent. And that is the nukers for tomorrow. Let's go on to Wednesday. Wednesday is more like defensive uh, tank type champions, but again, all pretty arena heavy. So Serga, good arena defense champion. She's got a good passive, which is reducing the damage your team take. She's got ally protection and strengthen. Um, generally decent champion, but I don't see her used a ton at the moment in arena defense. Um, pretty much the with, with all of the new champions come out, like the uh, Ukrainian duo. They're, they're kind of surpassing what a Serga used to be able to do. Um, so she's the Void, and then we've got two non-Voids. So someone who I actually pulled a dupe of yesterday. What is she? What is she? Shadowkin. I always forget where she is. Yeah, I got a dupe of this uh, Kayuku yesterday. Great champion. Kind of tricky to use, but again, a, amazing arena defense champion. She's got ally protect whilst putting block damage on herself. She's got a smack of an AoE on her A2. This is also cool if you've got an, a different decrease attack champion. You can make her do a burn with this. So Doom Tower type content, she can do the burns. I did a solo bomb video on her um, showcasing this as well. Because she burns the bombs but does, doesn't burn the boss. If you set it up right, which is very cool. Makes it very quick. Um, and then got a weaken on the A1, which hits incredibly hard. So she's very good for clan boss. Good in the arena. Mainly good in the arena because of this passive. So when she is hit with a crit, which is basically any arena hit coming at you, she heals the team, gives them all increased defense. 
very cool if, again if you want to go second in an arena fight um and the last one is yeah one of the best champions in the game duchess so you know any of the kind of krakens out there that have not got their plus four duchess they're probably going to be pulling on this times 10 and this is ancient shards and sacred so any old shards will do they want all of your shards um and if you don't know duchess damn she's just so good the a2 gives you block debuffs increase attack and a perfect veil great for hydra great for the arena especially when you look at a passive that you just take less damage from aoe hits in general when duchess is on the team this is one of the best passives in the game um she's got full team revivers as well some shieldage going on on the a1 so yeah duchess is solid on to thursday's ones then there's actually someone here that i'm super keen to get from the voids Riho. We just see her popping up again and again in like late game teams now. She's very, very good for like the Shogun and um, yeah, a bunch of the newer content that's come out. She's one of the best champions to put in it, mainly because she just throws out so many debuffs on this A2. But yeah, she can literally just put out a whole raft of debuffs here and do a load of work. The A3 is also a nice cleanse and heal also gives you block debuffs. So this is a great ability as well some healing on the a1 as well and also this is very cool so whenever she's going to receive debuffs instantly just pops them back at the enemy so Riho, such a good champion she was a guaranteed at one point i didn't do it that's definitely one of the ones i was a bit sad that i missed out on the other two here both decent but i don't know if i'd pull them outside of you know like a normal event so with here one of the best healers in the game once she gets going she's giving you increased defense continuous heals She's cleansing stuff off, giving you more heals. Continuous heals pop in here. Like, there's loads going on in terms of support play with Withir. Once she's had a couple of turns, it's very hard to kill your team. Uh, and then the final champion for this one, I think she's a Night Revs. Yeah, Shemnap. So I don't have this champion, actually. The tower, um, the statue, very cool skin. Love this one. So hard hitting, probably, I mean, decent champion. Decreased defense on the A1 transfers any debuffs from her uh then attacks three times yeah first hit increases duration of all debuffs on a target second hit decreases the duration of all buffs on a target and then the last hit increases the duration of all buffs on herself pretty greedy um pretty selfish but decent we got an aoe smack on the a3 which ignores some defense as well so this is a hard hitter as well um yeah, just a decent champion, like hard-hitting, good champion to have. Let's get on to the guaranteed champions then. So Tuesday, this is tomorrow. There is going to be an epic champion available after your 40th Ancient Shard. So yeah, it's actually in the Sylvan Watchers, and I guess a lot of people won't have Sylvan Watchers right now. But 40 Ancient Shards, then you're guaranteed. Wyron and the Silken, fast, good support. What she got here? Decrease attack, turn me to fill and increase speed, and then revive. I mean, in terms of this faction for faction wars, very, very solid. Speed in faction crypts as well. She's pretty much just a faction war champion, right? So, you know, there's most of the legendaries in this faction are supports. You probably don't have them yet, but if you do, then you probably don't need her. Um, there's a lot of support champions in this faction. There's really not a lot of damage in this faction. So I don't know, 40 Ancients is not a ton, but also, would I pull 40 just to pull that champion? I don't think so. I don't think it's good enough, in my opinion. And then the next one, on the Wednesday, there's a guaranteed for Voids. So that is going to be for Nia, White Dryad Nia, who's a good champion, but awkward to use. I've got to be honest, awkward. And this is going to be 30 Void Champions. Sorry, 30 Void Shards to get Nia. Again, do I think it's worth it? They've actually done a Nia Shard event before. So the imagination is running a little bit low. Cool champion, like very unique. Got decreased speed AoE on the A1. She's very good for Hydra and she's good for Clan Boss as well. So she's got this cleanse on the A2 with a heal on it uh, and reduce the cooldown of a skill. She'll always do this on the leader if no one else needs the heal, which means that you can chain Reduce cooldown of a good ability on your leader over and over again. Makes it pretty damn cool. 
and then she's got ally protect and strengthen if you don't have an ally protection champion yet on your account and you're looking for someone for clan boss then she can come in and do a good job with this skill alongside this kind of cleanse um she also spreads heals about if she gets healed as well look she's a great champion and as i say if you're not doing clan boss at a decent level then she's probably worth pulling shards for outside of that i don't know that she again i don't know if she's worth pulling shards for she will help you with this clan for faction wars for sure but yeah don't know guys like that's it for the for the shard events what do you think do any of those get you to the point where you're like midweek shards i'm all over it let me know i've been hell hades i'll see you later <laughs>